This video is sponsored by AMD. Hey everyone, Vinayak here. When you're building a gaming PC, the most important component is the graphics card. There's no doubt about that. However, have you wondered how big a role the processor plays during gaming workloads? You wouldn't pair a high-end graphics card with a 10-year-old mid-range processor, would you? Of course not. So let's see how good the Ryzen 5000 series of processors are for gaming. The graphics card always has to be accompanied by an appropriately powerful processor that can take advantage of the graphic card's prowess and give you the best possible performance. Figuring which processor to pair with your graphics card can be quite the challenge. Let's change that with this video. We'll be pairing the AMD 5000 series of processors based on AMD Zen 3 micro architecture with the best AMD Radeon graphics card there is the AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT. We'll run some of the most popular video games that have been released in the past couple of months to see how impactful each processor can be and how much of an improvement we can gain by upgrading to a better processor. To do this, we'll be building a PC with the following configuration. Graphics card, AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT. Motherboard, Gigabyte B550 Aorus Pro. For RAM, we have two Corsair DDR4 AGB at 3200 MHz. PSU, we have the Cooler Master V1000. And the CPU cooler is the NZXT Kraken X72. The CPUs are the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X, Ryzen 7 5800X, Ryzen 9 5900X, and the Ryzen 9 5950 x And we'll be running the following games on this build. Apex Legends. Cyberpunk 2077, Battlefield 5, Total War 3 Kingdoms, and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. The Ryzen 5 5600X is a hexa-core processor with multi-threading and this becomes our baseline for the comparison with the rest of the Ryzen processors. We can see that the Ryzen 5 5600X helped us get 216 FPS in Apex Legends, 90 FPS in Cyberpunk 2077, 180 FPS in Battlefield 5, 201 FPS in Total War 3 Kingdoms, and 166 FPS in Shadow of the Tomb Raider. The Ryzen 7 5800X adds two additional cores, and the max boost clock is also higher at 4.7 GHz. It does improve performance as we see that it scored 260 FPS in Apex Legends, 103 FPS in Cyberpunk 2077, 184 FPS in Battlefield 5, 205 FPS in Total War 3 Kingdoms, and 173 FPS in Shadow of the Tomb Raider. The average improvement is around 1.5% over the Ryzen 5 5600X. We have a lot more cores with the Ryzen 9 5900X, in fact twice as much as the Ryzen 5 5600X. Plus, there's multi-threading and the max boost clock also goes even higher to 4.8 GHz. It scores 290 FPS in Apex Legends, 110 FPS in Cyberpunk 2077, 186 FPS in Battlefield 5, 204 FPS in Total War 3 Kingdoms and 180 FPS in Shadow of the Tomb Raider. The average improvement is around 2% over the Ryzen 5 5600X. And then we have the granddaddy of all AMD Ryzen disturb processors, the AMD Ryzen 9 5950X. With 16 cores and 32 threads, it's not just a gaming processor, but much more. It's excellent for content creators and even for workstations. So for gaming, you ask? It scores 296 FPS in Apex Legends, 113 FPS in Cyberpunk 2077, 186 FPS in Battlefield 5, 206 FPS in Total War 3 Kingdoms, and 183 FPS in Shadow of the Tomb Raider. So in conclusion, do note, all these tests were done in 1080p high settings. Frame rates were between 5 to 10 higher as you went to the better processor. The 5600X is quite a capable processor and provides great value, especially in gaming. But if you want to squeeze every frame out of your GPU, a better CPU will help. Well, I hope I was helpful in making you understand how much of a difference each upgrade in the Ryzen 5000 series impacts gaming performance. Now you should have a better understanding of which AMD Ryzen 5000 processor to get for your next gaming build. So that was the video. Make sure to like, subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.